been two hot minutes for me. Okay, well, welcome. I'm just going to introduce the amazing Veronica. Um, I was sharing a little bit before we've had some changes in our comp plan. And uh, I myself am a little slow when it comes to numbers and comp plans and changes. So um, I would just be so honored and excited to hear it from Veronica, because one thing I know you know and love is numbers. And also have the opportunity, if there are questions, to ask questions, um, because it's one thing to kind of hear it, but it's another thing to understand it and then put it into practice, as well as connect if anybody um, on the call, you know, creating that community wants to kind of lean in together, you can see some familiar faces. So I'm going to pass it over to the most amazing Miss Veronica Singh. Well, thanks so much for that introduction. Hi, guys and gals. Uh, first of all, I saw the beautiful Lori Allen's on here and she's on video. So before I even dive in, I'm just going to tell you, I am jacked out of my mind about this comp plan. And I'll tell you my story in a moment. But Lori, if you've got a quick moment, do you just want to share like why you're so excited? Because I know you're just as excited. <laughs> yes. And I love that you saw me on video because you're like, okay, she could talk. Um, and they're actually downstairs eating right now too. I We're just finishing dinner and I'm like, I have a call at 5.30 and Mark's like, it's 5.33. And I'm like, oh, I go. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why. So I started four years ago this month. So, um, October 27th is my four year anniversary. And when I came in, we had a very similar compensation plan. And that is what excites me the most is because I had an easy, I don't want to say easy. I hate using that word in this profession because nothing we do is easy, but I had a simple plan to, to literally run with. I didn't know what I was doing, but they were like, Lori, get your 10 and three, or in this case, it would be get your six and two. And I'm like, okay, like just keep doing that over and over again. And that's literally, um, the bricks as Craig says that built me to diamond in eight months was just getting 10 and three every month over and over again. And this is even an easier path because they're letting you replace those. They're letting you replace your six and two, instead of having to get six brand new and two brand new every single month. So I'm just so excited because I know how attainable this is. And we have all of these great bonuses. We've got the in-between ranks. We've got the set pay in customers and in monthly bonuses with the extra nine ranks. And I'm like, this literally, I cried literally because the company I was with before this, so I don't want to talk too much about that, but we had a, we had almost an identical compensation plan. And I always struggled with the same thing here in between ranks. And I'm like, I'm this close to the next rank, but I'm still getting paid at my lower rank. Like I'm only 2000 GV away. And I love that they put permanently, not as maximizers permanently into our compensation plan, these in-between ranks where you can, you know, if you fall a little bit, which we all do, sometimes we fall a lot. I've, I've been there too. Um, you fall, you have a little bit less of a fall. And then as you're going back up, you've got a great little bonus in the middle as you're going back to your current rank or your next rank. And I absolutely love that for people. And then hello this month, giving everybody the ability to earn these bonuses just by enrolling too. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I'm like, honey, you're not going to see me for a while because I've got I've got money to make and to help people make. So that's just my my excitement a little bit over here. Um, thank you for sharing and just being willing to hop on real quick and do that and share that. Um, because that wasn't like that wasn't stage, guys. That's real life excitement. And I'll tell you, my excitement has been the same way, so much so that I have a lot of appointments this week and I still did five reach outs on Monday, five reach outs on Tuesday, five reach outs yesterday. I had three reach outs today and I'm already at my two that are about to get started with more conversations to come. Like it is the most conversations I think I could fit in a short time frame with everything else that's going on. Uh, and what I want to start with first is helping you guys understand, like I have been with Trenant obviously a very long time. And I have seen multiple iterations of comp plan changes. And I can confidently say that this compensation plan is the best compensation plan I have seen since I've started in my Trenant career. Okay. Because they actually made Jade the most attainable position that is even easier than it was when I got started in 2016. And I want to focus on Jade because Jade is the building block of our business right? It's the building block of our business. If you understand Jade, and they made it even simpler than that, but if you understand Jade, you can understand how to get to any other position in our comp plan. 
And the thing that I want you to take away from today's conversation, even if you forget all the numbers that I'm going to go through here in just a moment, the main thing I want you to remember is that in network marketing, friction kills duplication. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Friction kills duplication. And one of the things that I will tell you that has happened, especially when we've had like kind of the COVID era and a lot of our business went from mostly like belly to belly to 99% of it now is done online, right? What has happened in that time frame is there's been a lot of different, what I call noise, right? Noise, where you might have individuals saying, do this. You have another individual saying, do this. You have another individual saying, do this. And then also like a ton of Facebook groups, right? How many of you guys have seen what I'm talking about? You see all these groups, you see all these different strategies. Now, here's the thing. What individuals are teaching you is not necessarily a wrong way to build your business because they've had success doing it. But what I want you to understand and the thing that I've learned from being in this industry, not just in Trenant, but my my time frame of being in the industry, which is over 10 years at this point, my husband's knowledge and experience in this industry for over 20 plus years in the industry, the one thing that we understand that creates a team that not only retains, but also builds in momentum is having a very simple duplicatable system. Okay, a very simple duplicatable system. And with this new compensation plan, I can 1000% confidently say that it is a very simple duplicatable system if you follow what I'm going to teach you. How many of you get excited about simplicity and being able to just take a new person and say, new person, this is what you're going to focus on. And then they can put blinders on for all the other things and just focus on this right? So that's what I'm going to break down for you tonight. Uh, the last two announcements that I'll quickly just make, because I think this will help you tremendously, is there are some enhancements that came to our Trenant Go app. I encourage you, if you haven't gotten into Trenant Go, get in there, look at all the new enhancements. And if you want to see what's in there that's new, go down to the section that's called getting started in the app. And there's literally like a little training video on how to use every new section of that app. Um, so I'm not going to go into detail on that. If you have more questions, get back with Benny or Lori or myself. We'll help you go through um, those specifics offline. Second big thing that I want to talk to you about real quick before we dive into the comp plan is have you all heard about the loyalty program, which rolled out effective October 1? If you haven't, let me tell you a little bit about it. And I'll actually share my screen and I'm going to pull up the chat just in case. Angela says simplicity is key. Yes, Angela, I agree with you. Okay, hold on, guys. I don't even have my screen showing up that I can pull up. Hang on. Okay, let's see if this will work now. Can you see? Hold on, guys. I have like 13,000 windows open. Okay, now let me show you the loyalty program. By the way, this is also in your Trinoco app, so I'll just show you the image, but you can pull this up in your Trinoco app as well. Oh, and by the way, real quick on the Trinoco app, everyone who's an associate is going to have access to it. There's no like monthly cost to it. None of that anymore. It's anybody who's an associate is going to have access to Trinoco. Okay. So here's the loyalty program. This is effective as of October 1. Any individual that now has a subscription that is run for $160 for basically a four month period, in their fourth month, they're gonna receive a free gift valued at $60. I do not have the details on what that gift is going to be, okay? A lot of people have asked me that. I don't have specifics on that, but this is a definite start to a loyalty program for customers who are on subscription. So I will actually tell you how I have already utilized this in my conversations this week. In fact, there was an individual who's been buying collagen uh, probably for about nine months now. She's been on subscription and she's just shy of enough to be at the loyalty program of 160. So I had a conversation with her. And of course, I approached her about the business first. I said, hey, are you open to some additional income? If you are, you've got to take a look at this comp plan. After sending her some info, she said, you know what? I'm not interested in building a business. Now, here's the thing, guys. 
that I'm okay with that. I'm not looking for everybody to join the business, right? But my second conversation with her was, hey, did you know if you didn't, there's a loyalty program that we just released and you're very close to actually qualifying for it. And I explained the program to her, sent her all the details from the Tronco app. And literally like two days ago, she sent me a text and she said, you know what? I'm going to upgrade my subscription. I'm going to add our boost uh, onto loyalty so that I can get basically the loyalty program. So I just want you to know, utilize all of these little things in your conversations because, hey, she didn't get signed on as an associate, but would you agree her upgrading her subscription is still a win? It's still a win, okay? So have this in your back pocket as like your secondary for anybody who's already purchasing um, products. Good okay, yes, go ahead, Benny. Yes. Is it only for customers? As of right now, yes. I have heard that it's only for customers, but here's what I'm going to double check. I would say let's double check that in the actual compensation details, which I shouldn't say compensation details. There's a whole terms and conditions on the loyalty program inside of your Tronco app. It's like four pages long. It'll probably say in that fine print. Okay. Second question, in case you know it, if they change their subscription, so say they get a fall bundle and then they change it to something else, as long as it's 160 or does it have to be the same thing? 160 just has to be 160. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, and that's a good question, Benny, on the loyalty. So I'm even going to write that down so I can go dig up, but I'm pretty sure they said customers, but don't quote me on that. We'll look at the fine print and we'll find out. Okay. Compensation enhancements. Yes. These are going to be going into effect in November 1. With that being said, I do not want any of you to take your foot off the gas and you're going to find out why towards the end of today. Um, but let's start with just talking about what's going to be new or what's essentially changing. So the first thing that's going to be changing is our pricing model. And we're going to be moving away from the retail versus uh, subscription pricing model. And we're actually going to be going back to a model that we had before, which was really awesome, which is what we call the you can call it the wholesale versus retail model or like the associate versus retail model. I'll talk about that on the next slide. Next, we're going to be talking about customer commissions um, are essentially now going to be called, you can call them customer retail bonuses, whatever you want to call them. The customer commissions are going to be changing and we're doing away with the 10, 20, 30% tiered model. And it's going to be a flat dollar amount that an individual is going to earn based on the products that are being purchased. You'll learn about that here in a moment. We are moving to simplified enrollment packs. And I'm super excited about this because how many of you agree that when you're working with individuals or getting somebody signed up, that when there's a lot of options to choose from, there becomes this like analysis paralysis. And sometimes individuals have a hard time making a decision on what bundle they're going to start with. So with that, we are simplifying the enrollment process. And you're going to see how we're going to do that in a moment. We've got a six and two bonus that... If all you remember today is I want you to keep in the back of your mind six and two, because everything from the duplication model that we're going to talk about in the comp plan, it's going to be focused around the six and two bonus. Then we've got a builder bonus promotion, uh, which is essentially similar to what Lori was talking about. We had this old builder bonus program. Um, this new builder bonus program is somewhat similar to that, but it's actually even better. <laughs> it's even better. And I'm excited because it's even better. Then we've got our team bonuses, which are the same as what you remember of like Jade, Opal, Pearl, the team bonus, but there's additional ranks. And you're going to see what those additional ranks are here in just a moment. And then we've got the continuation of our champion circle. If some of you were running for champion circle and maybe you didn't quite get there, uh, the cool part is, is you have now until March that you can actually go for the um, champion circle. I think somebody just said something. Angela says, obviously we should reach out to our customers and the loyalty program, but I'm wondering if corporate is making an announcement via email to customers. Angela, uh, that is a really good point on is, is corporate going to send an announcement? I would imagine that they're going to send some sort of marketing emails out. However, what I would say, Angela, is don't you know, count on it. Like I would just be in contact with all of your customers. That way you can make sure that they're getting the message because sometimes even if they do send an email out, Sometimes people don't get those emails. So I encourage pick up the phone or send them a text or whatnot. Okay, let's talk about the simplified enrollment packs. So there are now 
two enrollment packs that are going to be completely live as of November 1. We have a builder pack, which is $499, and it includes the $99 associate fee. I know in Canada, I believe it's a $129 fee that you have, but again, with the simplified enrollment packs, they're building the associate fee in the simplified enrollment pack. So there's no like, you're going to have this pack, and then you're going to have this, okay? The second pack is our starter pack, which is going to be $299, and it's going to be worth um, 100 PV. Now, there is the option, which I call kind of the third option. If you have anybody that wants to get started and maybe they want additional product or different product that's not in the builder or starter pack, then just know that your uh, individual who's enrolling can still sign up for any enrollment pack bundle that they create. So they can create their own. And if they do create their own, then you're just adding on the associate fee on top of it. Okay, so we simplified the process and then the extra bonus that's been included now on these enrollment bundles, if they choose either the builder or the starter pack, is that all of those new associate enrollments have the ability to purchase either TLA or convention ticket at the early bird pricing for their first 30 days. What I love about that is that you have the ability to run with that new associate, right? Get them excited about growing their business and ensure that they can get registered for the next event with that early bird pricing. How simple is that? How many of you guys get excited about simplified enrollment packs? Like that's one of my favorite things in this whole code plan because now I could tell a new person, here, get started on this or this, this or this. <laughs> Veronica, are you going to go over what we earn off enrollment packs? Uh, I will. Yes. It's coming up later in the slide deck. Okay, perfect. Yep. So let's talk about the new pricing model, which is now moving to what we call a wholesale or retail model. So here's how simple it is. Anyone who is an associate is going to get what we call wholesale pricing. Anyone who's a customer is going to get retail pricing. Doesn't matter if they put it on subscription or not. It is either you're an associate, you're going to get the wholesale pricing, you're, or you're a customer and you get the retail uh, pricing. Now, the actual price points are basically the same price points as our one-time price point or our subscription price point. So again, the associate pricing or wholesale pricing is now the going to be the subscription price and the retail price is the one-time price. So the biggest thing that I want to talk about here in just a moment is I'm going to talk about this reduction here in just a moment, but I want to talk about what the customer commissions are going to be. Depending on the product that you refer to your customer, you are either going to get a flat $7 retail bonus or a $10 retail bonus. So let's use an example. If you are selling, right, Enhance and Mojo, maybe somebody bought both Enhance and Mojo, then you're going to get a $7 plus another $7 for a total of $14 on that customer, right, who bought Enhance and Mojo. If you're selling any of the products that are in our $10 retail bonus category, you're going to get a $10 retail bonus. Pretty darn simple, right? What I love about this is immediately, here's what I want you guys to know, immediately with this change in comp plan, an individual who is getting customers is now going to be looking at two to potentially three times what they were getting initially on our old model that's phasing out 1031 of the 10, 20, or 30% uh, tiered model, which is really, really awesome. Now, the only product that is excluded from the $7 retail bonus or the $10 retail bonus is toothpaste. And that's because we don't have enough margin uh, between our toothpaste, the cost of it. Uh, and so there is volume for toothpaste that will run through your tree, uh, but there will be no retail bonus on our toothpaste specifically. Now, any other products that are not listed here uh, are only not listed here because we don't have the full product portfolio yet. And again, this is going live November 1. So we'll have those details as we get closer to, no to November 1 launch date. Veronica, now, can I yeah. ask a question? So I have my camera turned off because it, I it's 10 o'clock here and I have to get okay. up at 5 a.m. Falling asleep. Okay. But the so when it's when it's based on the product, but like if they're in a bundle, say there's a bundle with like X many products in there, do you get paid on how many products are in the bundle? Or if you're getting like a two pack of glow, do you get paid as two, like 10, like $20 because you somebody bought a two pack? 
Yeah, as far as I'm aware, yes, it's going to be at the double the bonus. Um, but what I want to ensure is I want to wait till that product portfolio comes out so that we can get those full details. But it's a very good question, Charlotte, and you're not the first person to ask it. So I okay. like what brain's going. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so the last piece on this slide that I want you to understand is that with customer volume, you'll see that it says here there will be a 15% reduction in customer volume on every product sold or ordered. So I'm going to use the example of the DHS kit. So right now, the DHS kit we know is worth 70 points of volume, right? So if an associate orders it, it's 70 points of volume. Uh, perfect. Lori actually answered your question, Charlotte, which is the way I was told as well. Lori said that it is per product as well. So it would be $20 on collagen. Perfect. You're welcome. Perfect. Okay. So the DHS kit again is 70 points of volume for every uh, associate, but if a customer orders it, you're going to have that 15% reduction. And I'll explain why in just a moment. So essentially when a customer orders it, your CV is going to be 59 and a half CV. And you might be wondering, well, why the heck do we have to have the 15% reduction? Well, it's because in the new comp plan come November 1, you can now count all of your customer volume towards rank advancement. So yes, your customer volume and your personally purchased volume can count towards rank advancement of Jade Opal Pearl. And it's awesome because before it was just our personally purchased volume. Now it's all of that PV. So that is why they have the 15% reduction on your CV. Okay. Any questions on that before we move on? I think we tackled everything, but just in case. Trent, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Does the customer volume still count towards your qualifying volume? When you say qualifying volume. So it, you need a hundred, you need a hundred PPV to, to get your bonuses. Does the customer volume still count towards that? Yes. You're talking about your actual PV for rank advancement, correct? Yes. Yes. Like you need 100 PV up to Ruby and then you need 200 PV. Yeah. Correct. yeah. Yes. Okay. It counts for that. Yep. Absolutely. You're right on the same same thought process. You're, you're good. Trent. Awesome. Yep. And then also it counts towards your group volume as well. Yes. That's the beautiful double, part. Double it literally digit. counts yeah. for both. Which, uh, by the way, guys... I just want you to know, companies don't do that. Like it's either one or the other. They don't allow you to do it for both. So the way that Trenant made it work is that's why they had to do the reduction in CV. But the fact that they're allowing it to count for both is really freaking awesome. <laughs> I get excited about it. Okay, so let's focus on the six and two. Again, this is effect effective November 1, um, but I'm still telling you what it is today so you can get your mindset wrapped around it come November 1. So to qualify for a six and two, a brand new associate. So let's just say, Benny, I'm enrolling you November 1 as an example. You have your first 30 days from your start date to enroll six customers with a total of, between those six customers, a total of 400 in CV. So if your six customers don't reach the 400 CV, then of course you will need to add on one or two more customers uh, to get to your 400 CV. But six customers with a total of 400 CV and two associates with at least 100 PV, so they at least have to start on that starter pack. And if you do that within your first 30 days, you're going to get a one-time bonus of $400 for doing that. Now, here's where it gets really, really cool. In month two, Benny, if you go and just maintain those six customers and two associates with 100 PV and 400 CV, you're going to get another bonus of $100 for maintaining your six and two. Now it is maintaining, so it is not going out and getting another six customers. Now, if you have maybe three customers that drop off, then yes, you're just replacing those three customers to still maintain your six customers and 400 CV and your two associates with 100 PV. But if you maintain it again in month two, you're gonna get that $100 bonus. Maintain it again, you're gonna get $150 bonus. Maintain it a fourth time, and you're going to um, get a $200 bonus for a total of $850 worth of just bonus money on the six and two alone, okay? Now, here's where I got really excited, especially for all of you, because if you're focused on helping your team grow, 
there's a bonus for you in helping your associates qualify for the six and two and also maintain it. So now in this example, let's say I enrolled Benny. Well, if I enrolled Benny because I sponsored her, if she gets that six and two and I help her work towards that, I'm going to get a $50 bonus for helping her complete six and two. If she maintains it, again, I'm going to get another $50 bonus for helping her maintain it. If she does it again, another $50 bonus. If she does it again, another $50 bonus for a total of $200 in bonus money per sponsored associate that I help qualify for six and two and maintain their six and two. Are you guys starting to get the power of this if you start compounding it out? Imagine if you sponsored three individuals in the month of November, right? And all three of them actually hit, right? They're six and two. There's 150 bucks right there. Then they maintain it. There's another 150. Do you kind of see how this math starts to math when you start adding it up? It's really, really cool. Okay, any questions on six and two? Because this is the one that I really want you to understand before we move on. Okay, good, good, it's simple. See, that means no questions, means it's simple. All right, let's talk about the Builder Bonus. Builder Bonus is a program that is also gonna be available for new associates come November 1. And hint, hint, wink, wink, you have the ability to unlock this in October. We'll talk about that at the end. So the Builder Bonus, the way that this works is when you get a brand new associate started, they have the ability within their first 270 days to earn up to an additional $19,400 in builder bonus money by accumulating volume with inside of their sponsor tree. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain what sponsor tree means here in just a moment. Now, in order for a new associate come November 1 to qualify for this builder bonus program, they have to qualify under two conditions. They must maintain 200 points of personal volume throughout the builder bonus timeframe. And that 200 points of personal volume, Trent, I know this question might come up from you, so I'm gonna clarify it now. The 200 points of personal volume can be personally purchased volume and customer volume. So it can be a mix of both, or it can be one or the other, right? But must maintain the 200 points of personal volume and must sponsor at least two associates, okay? That's it, two associates, and they're qualified with that 200 PD. Now, how this works is the first 30 days, we wanna help them go and get their six and two complete because they get that $400 bonus. In their first 90 days, if they get a cumulative volume between their two lines of business of 6,000 in volume, cumulative, and I'm gonna explain what cumulative means in just a moment, then they're gonna get a one-time bonus of $1,000 for hitting that within their first 90 days. Now, let me show you because I want to explain cumulative. If some of you don't understand cumulative, this little exercise is going to make it very simple for you to understand. And Trent, I'm going to have you pull a calculator out for me just so you can help me with the math real quick. And we'll say month three. Okay, so we've got month one, month two, month three. So let's say in month one, you get your two associates enrolled. Okay, and each of your two associates complete a six and two. Okay, by completing a six and two, the way the math is going to work out volume wise, a six and two is going to complete at minimum 700 points of volume to your group. Okay, so if two complete, right, in month one, there's 1400 points. Okay, got that so far. That's month one. Now, the best part about this, you're going to see later in just a moment that that 1,400 points of volume, uh, you would actually be a Jade, just so you know, with the new comp plan. You'll see that in a moment. Okay, but let's go to month two and finish on cumulative. So now in month two, if your two associates maintain their six and two, there's that 700 in volume in month two for each associate. And now let's say we helped two more associates qualify for six and two. There's another 700 and another 700. So Trent, I'm gonna have you do me a huge favor. Take 700 times, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tell me what that is. 
Hold on, you're muted. 4,200. Okay, so now cumulative volume means in month two, we're adding all this up. You're at 4,200 in total volume to qualify for that bonus. Now, month three, let's just say all you did was maintain this. Let's say nobody else got a six and two, but you just maintained that. So we've got um, 4,200, which is going to be times 1,400 and 1,400 is 2,800. So 4,200 plus 2,800, Trent. Seven thousand. Okay, so boom! In month three, you have a total of seven thousand cumulative. And by the way, let me go back to the screen. Look at you only needed six thousand. You're a thousand above, so you would get that thousand dollar bonus, or I should say, the new associate would get that thousand dollar bonus. All I want you to understand from this example is cumulative volume. Any questions on that before I move on? on what cumulative volume is. Go ahead, Trent. I see you like this. I'm just, is it, so is it the previous month's volume plus the current month's volume? You or the it. previous, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's literally adding up all of the volume in those months, correct. Pretty awesome. Which also, to go for these builder bonuses, there's no max leg percentage. So if you have a leg that's a runaway leg, it doesn't matter if it's all come, if majority of that volume is coming from one leg for the builder bonus program. Now it does matter for rank advancement, but for the builder bonus program, it doesn't matter. So if you guys are following where my brain is going, here's what I can tell you confidently that I see happen all the time with individuals is individuals will skip, get their team started and then they always have a runaway leg. They always have a runaway leg <laughs> once they have somebody that wants to run. And when you have a runaway leg, in this example, this will help you towards the Builder Bonus Program or your new associate. Okay, so if we add up the first 150 days, you can get 18,000 in total cumulative volume. You get a $3,000 bonus for doing that. First 210 days, 60,000 in total volume. You get a $5,000 bonus for doing that. And the first 270 days, um, you'll get 100 and uh, for 120,000 in total volume, you'll get a $10,000 bonus for doing that. All right. Let me explain the second big stipulation, uh, and I'll stop for a second because, Benny, you have a question. Go ahead. Is there going to be some sort of tracker for this? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you don't have to try to track it on your own, Benny, because I know that would be so hard to do. Okay. So let's show you what the second requirement is for this, and it's understanding what we call the sponsor tree versus the placement tree. So there are two trees in an organization. Everybody has a sponsor and placement tree. Let me explain how it works. So Trent, I'm gonna use you as the example. Trent, in this example, you are you <laughs> in the example, right? You're the blue circle, you're you. So Trent, let's say that I got you started in the business and Trent, you went and sponsored Mark and you also went and sponsored Sally. Now. Let's say, Trent, that Mark sponsored Lisa, Lisa sponsored Sarah, Sarah sponsored TJ. Okay, all of these gray circles in that example fall in what we call your sponsor tree. Now, Trent, let's say that I personally went out and I recruited Sam and I placed Sam in your organization underneath Sally, okay? Well, Sam then goes and recruits John. So in this example, Sam and John are in your placement tree. So for the example of builder bonuses, the cumulative volume is everything that comes from your sponsor tree, not your placement. So in this example, it would be all the volume from Sally, Mark, Lisa, Sarah, TJ, and then, of course, anybody that they sponsor. So, for example, if Sally goes and sponsors, you know, Sarah, another Sarah, then Sa the the uh, volume from Sarah here and Sally is counting towards your sponsor tree. So just think of anything that's placed in your organization that's considered your placement tree. I want to pause on this and ensure that you guys understand this because I know this is the only piece of our comp plan that's new that is somewhat going to cause individuals to try to figure it out. So I want to pause and make sure you guys understood what I just explained.
Any questions on that? Go ahead, Trent. Yeah, so I always have questions. Um, so in the example below, let's say Sally sponsors three people and places them under those people that you placed. That volume still goes up through them because Sally sponsored them. It'll still count for your sponsor tree because yes, Sally yeah. sponsored them and yeah. you sponsored Sally. So anybody upline from you that places under you doesn't count for the for the bonus, but anybody that you've sponsored it below care. Right? You got it. Yeah, you got yeah. it. You're right on target. That's all you got to remember. If it's coming from what we call, if it's you sponsor someone, they sponsor someone, and then they sponsor someone, that's all your sponsor tree because yeah. you directly sponsored that first person who sponsored and sponsored and sponsored. You're, you're right on target. You got it, Trent. Yeah. All right. Anybody else have any other questions on that? Okay, great. I'm going to take the silence as we're good. Okay, great. So that is the Builder Bonus Program. It's pretty darn simple to understand for the most part outside of the sponsor placement, which we just clarified. I think the diagram helps to make it simple to understand. Okay. Let's talk about the launch bonuses. Benny, you asked about this. What do you get when you launch or sponsor someone? So the way the launch bonus program is going to work now is if an individual starts on a builder pack, you're going to get a one-time $50 bonus up front. Now, if someone starts on a starter pack, which is 100 to 199 of PV, um, you're going to get a $25 bonus for them getting started. Now, again, if somebody's customizing their own pack, right, if the value of that pack is 100 to 199 PV, it's a $25 bonus. If they're at 200 PV or more, it's a $50 bonus. Pretty simple to understand. Now, the retention bonus here is focused on month two. And what I like about this is, again, we are focused on helping you maintain your business, not a pop and drop. So one of the reasons, and I want to talk specifically about this because we are in an economy where people are just not spending that type of money that they would on a platinum pack, right? They're just not. And more so, the statistics, when they looked at everything in the numbers, the statistics showed that individuals who started on a platinum pack would get their platinum pack, but then sometimes are not ordering product in month two or month three. And so what this would cause is what we call a spike and then a dip in somebody's organization. We wanted to eliminate that, right? And so with this new launch bonus program, the focus is they can get started on one of those smaller packs. And then if they maintain that same volume in month two, then you're going to get a $50 retention bonus for anybody who maintains their 200 PV or a $25 retention bonus for an individual who maintains their starter pack. Okay. It's very simple to understand. It's just now spread out over two months instead of a upfront full launch bonus. Okay, so let's move on Just to a question about yep. the last slide. Can you go back? Yep. For a yep. So if I'm understanding this right, because you showed us those two packs earlier, mm -hmm. um, but if they make their own pack and it's over 200, it's just considered a builder, right? Correct. Yep. So my other question, because of those two packs, and this is a Canadian based question, is in Canada, people can opt out of the enrollment fee. So if they d want to opt out of the enrollment fee, fee, they should do a builder or starter pack versus the bundles. Is that right? Well, if they're doing a builder and a starter pack, yeah, because the associate fee is already like built into that. So that would be the easiest. Um, but in terms of Canada being able to opt out, so that would be more of a question if they're going to build their own, can they, are they still getting out of that associate fee? So let me write that one down for you, Benny, um, okay. so we can find out from Noel specifically how that's going to work in Canada with that associate fee, which if I'm not mistaken, Benny, it's 129, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so if somebody decided that they wanted to make their own pa uh, bundle, I guess, when they're joining, then we would just not add the associate fee. Is that right? That's what we're going to find out, Michelle. 
That's what okay. we're going to find out for Canada specific. Yeah. Okay. I okay. would imagine there's, there's something around that. I just got to figure out from Noel. So I'll find out. Okay. And can I clarify, because I think we have in Canada, we have lots of people who like to opt out of that, especially right now where there's no Canadian website. Um, is there, so what does it include? Like, are they getting to not go only still if they have the associate pack? Yeah, they're going to get Trinant Go no matter what. Everybody who's an That's, associate will now get Trinant Go. So, yes. so what? So what is the point of getting an associate? Like what? What else is there? Just having your name on the website. Well, your replicated website, of course. Yeah, that's yeah. all it is now. Then. Yeah. Okay. And of course, all your different marketing material, which is all in your Trinaco app. But yes. But they get the Trinaco app now, no matter what. So really, uh, except for having your name on your website, you're paying one hundred and twenty nine dollars for your website. Well, and let's find out what the answer is to that for Canada specific, because I imagine it's just slightly different now in this new comp plan. So we'll find out, Charlotte and Michelle. I'll get the answer to Benny, and then Benny can pass it on to you. To you. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, great. Benny, was that your only question on that? Yes, it was. Thank you. And then just yeah. the one for for Noel, we can ask her and and follow mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And there was something on the loyalty program. I wrote it down, but then I didn't write the full question out. So Benny, just text that to me and I'll make sure I get it tackled. Yeah. So, uh, okay, great. Sorry. Oh, go I, had, ahead. I had a quick question on that last one too. So the retention bonus, if you need either a hundred to 199 or 200 plus PV, is that personal volume? Like you're purchased or is that all your volume? For the retention bonus, it's just, it's a mixture of either or. So if you got the two okay, okay. in customer volume and per, like, say you got a hundred and personally purchased volume and another hundred in CV, you're qualified. Yeah. But it's not it, GV. It's not GV that is in there too, is it? Like your downline volume? Correct. Your GV does not count towards, you're talking about the builder bonus program, correct? I'm going to go back. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's your person. It's your, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Personal yeah. volume. You got it. Yep. yep. Okay. Let me go back. These are all great questions and I'm glad you're asking them because the more you understand it, the easier it is come November 1. Okay, great. Are you all seeing now the big slide with all the new ranks and all the volume? You see a big chart. Okay, great. So what I want to first explain to you is Jade and how Jade, I'm just moving this, my little screen out of the way. Um, you're going to notice that Jade is now maintainable and easily accessible with A, you only need two personally sponsored associates. Okay, that's the first metric that Jade has changed by. The second metric Jade has changed by is the GV. Oh, hang on. Somebody's drawing on the screen. Let me see if I can delete that real quick. Hang on. How do I clear board? I'm not sure how to erase that, but of course. Oh, there we go. Did it erase? Yay. Okay, good. Um, so GV to qualify for Jade is now only 1,300 points of volume instead of 1,500 points of volume. The next metric that it's changed by is you can now count 80% from your max leg. So a total of 1,040 in group volume from your one line will count. And the rest just needs to come from either your second line or your PV slash CV, because that counts now too. So anything that you have in your uh, PV or CV will count towards Jade. And the way that that works is it just think of it as, think of your PV and CV as like a separate leg. So if you've got, let's say 500 points in total CV and PV volume, then think of it as like your third leg that just counts towards again, Jade, where it does have to qualify for the max leg percentage. So if I use another example, let's say you have 1,200 points of customer volume. Well, then only 1,040, of course, is going to count towards Jade. Does that all make sense? Okay, perfect. I see all the head nods. Great. And the team bonus, of course, is 250. And the Jeep bonus, of course, is 350. Now, Opal, Pearl, 
you'll see are the same, um, although the actual GV has changed as well. So it's a little bit easier to go for Opal. Uh, Pearl is now 4,500 in a group volume. And yet again, you can have two lines of business still for Opal and Pearl. And then you'll see Pearl Pro actually is the next, is like that first position. That is what Lori was explaining earlier, is that middle ground position. So now you'll see basically from Pearl all the way through Presidential Blue Diamond, there's all these middle ground positions like Pearl Pro, Ruby Pro. Then you've got um, Sapphire Pro, Emerald Elite. Those are all those middle tier positions that essentially Lori was talking about that as you're working towards your next position, you can fall right into um, those middle ground positions. Now, what I do want to tell you that's not on this screen, but is really awesome as an enhancement is that from Jade all the way through to Ruby Pro, you can have two lines of business. So you actually do not technically need to start a third line of business until you're running for Sapphire. So again, not listed on there, but another big perk that was added into our comp plan, which what I love about this is if you're thinking about the builder bonus program for just a moment, Think about what you have the ability to do with new associates if you're building out two lines of business is now you have the ability to focus on helping them drive volume and depth in their business to go after that builder bonus program and the cumulative volume. I get really excited about that because it all comes together in harmony. All right. So those before are you go, sorry, can I ask a question? Just because okay. I don't speak, I don't speak, I don't have it all memorized in American. Are those team right. bonuses and Jeep bonuses the same as they were before? Yes, they're the same as they were before. So whatever that's going to um, turn out to on the peg rate. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The only difference, Charlotte, and is the GV is now less, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And now, like, are we going to have a Canadian version of this? I would imagine by November 1, they'll have a full comp plan for Canada. Uh, okay. And so, yes. Obviously, I would have done the numbers if I could quickly, but I didn't have that kind of time this week. Oh, <laughs> so no, that, that's me. okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, great. Um, all right, let me Do just make sure. Have no a question about the two legs. Mm -hmm. So if you are, if you have three legs, is it the still? I, from you, Leah? Yes. Did you see that? Yeah, I just saw it right now. So no, you cannot merge your legs, but just. Think of it like this, Leah, your three lines, um, think of your third line will is essentially still going to count towards your group volume. And just think of it as like blending with your smaller second line. Does that answer your question, Leah? Or do you have a follow-up question on that? I think we're good. Okay. Um, sorry, I just, um, I didn't place my third leg, so I don't even know how they got there. Like somebody else placed them for me, but I guess there's still no way to change that. Okay. Yeah. If somebody else placed it in your organization, there's no way to change it. Um, but what you can do is again, if there's any volume in that third line, it still counts towards your rank advancement. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So Let's talk about six and two duplication, and then I'm going to wrap up with the Q4 Blitz, which Mr. Craig Cotter did an incredible um, explainer video today specifically on the Q4 Blitz, so you'll be able to follow up tonight's training with that if you want to get even further details after tonight. But let's focus on this six and two, six and two duplication. So I just broke down the comp plan in all those different slides beforehand that we just went through. So now what I want to explain in here is if we add this all up, what does it look like? So as an example, you'll see I just put a little diagram here that Trent, let's just say, Trent, you are you. <laughs> and you've got 100 in personal volume. And Trent, you go and you sponsor Mark and you sponsor Sally. So there's your two associates that you sponsored with 100 in volume. And then also... Trent, you got your six customers totaling 400 CV. So Trent, as an example for doing that in your first 30 days, and actually you did a little bit more because also in your first 30 days, 
we went and helped together, Trent. We helped Mark complete a six and two as well. Mark sponsored Lisa, right? And he also sponsored Sarah. And then he got his six customers with 400 in customer volume. So if we add all this up in a 30-day period, what just happened, Trent, is you qualified for the six and two bonus, which is a $400 bonus for doing that. Uh, you got your six customers. Now, this would be your retail bonus commissions. And this is, again, just based off of, I can't tell you exactly what those commissions are going to be because it all depends on what products a customer buys. But in this example, we said that your customer bonus is based on 15 products that were all at a $10 retail bonus. So again, those six customers with those 15 products is $150 as a bonus to you on the retail bonus customer side. You also received... For sponsoring Mark and Sally, you received your launch bonus of 50 and 50 for a total of 100. And you've reached Jade because of the volume that's been put in the organization. So your Jade bonus would be $250. In this example, I am not including the Jeep bonus. And also in this example, Trent, I'm also not including the $50 bonus you technically would have gotten for helping Mark complete a six and two. Remember, there's a $50 bonus there. I talked about it on a previous slide. But all in total, if we added up everything else, you're at $850 in your first 30 days just off that example alone by literally going after six and two and helping even just one associate in your team complete a six and two. Does that not get anybody excited? Like I, when I saw how simple this was, I'm like, oh, so the focus is get a six and two, and then let's go help your team get a six and two. <laughs> like guys, you cannot complicate this anymore. And then if you really want to make it super granular, you want me to simplify this even further? I'll simplify it even further. On average, for every 10 prospects that are looking and exposed to the business, you'll complete a six and two on average. So my thought process to you is if you're helping a new person, how fast do they want to get their six and two? If they want to do it week one, they want 10 exposures at a minimum in week one. Are you guys seeing how simple that is? That makes sense? <laughs> Benny, even Benny. Benny, I know you have a hard time with comp plans. And even you are like, okay. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So let me just wrap up with a quick, what does a four-month projection look like if all you did is focus on six and two and duplication? So month one, we kind of broke down already. If you completed six and two and you helped an associate complete six and two, you'd be a Jade. And again, I added some of the other bonuses in there. So that's where you get that 1350 because in this example, I now included your Jeep bonus plus the additional $50 bonus. It's all added in there to get to that 1350. Now in month two, off of working off of month one, if you maintain your six and two and now you help another individual get a six and two, you're going to pop a new jade in month two. If all you did is maintain and essentially help another six and two happen, you're going to get um, a jade in your organization, which will give you enough group volume for Opal, which pays out in month two, $1,000 when you include your Opal pay, your Jeep bonus, your retail bonus for your six customers, and again, your bonus for maintaining six and two. In month three, replicate that again. You're now a pearl with 4,500 in group volume. And your Pearl Pay, um, plus your Jeep bonus, plus your six customer retail bonus, plus your six and two retention. And now we've hit your first builder bonus for getting your 6,000 in total cumulative volume. Uh, that is a total of $2,200 in month three. Month four, duplicate the same thing one more time. You're at Pearl Pro, which is $1,550 in money in month four. And if you add all that up in a four-month period, there's $6,100 just in four months of focusing on six and two and duplicating six and two. That is the simplest part to understand in our comp plan. All right. Any questions on that? Or are you guys starting to see how simple this can be when you replicate six and two? I have a question, but it's kind of off subject. It's um, about the Jeep bonus. Like if somebody earns the Jeep bonus, what are the requirements to go out and get a Jeep right away? I remember them saying that they bank the money for you, I think. If you don't get the Jeep right away, is that right? They bank it for the first um, 60 days, essentially. So if you don't get it by month two, 
then the banked money just goes away and you'll get the bonus as soon as you get the Jeep. So yes, you're slightly correct on that in the sense that they bank it for one full month. And then in month two, if you don't get it, the bank goes away. And then once it's paid off, you own it and then um, you still get the payments. Yep. So I have a Jeep from 2016 that I still continue to get paid on and it's been paid off for years. That's amazing. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. I, I joke with people. I was like, I've turned a liability into an asset. How about that? <laughs> okay. Oops. I passed. Let me go back. Okay. So here's the Q4 blitz. And again, you can follow this up with Craig Cotter's training from today. Here is what you have the ability to do. If you want to go after the builder bonus program, they're allowing existing associates that you can open up the builder bonus program by qualifying with two conditions. One, by the end of October 31st, so by the end of this month, you sponsor two new associates in your organization. Sponsor two new associates in your organization. And you also have the second qualifying point is you have 200 points of PV. And yes, Trent, it doesn't matter how you have that PV. It could be customers and also your personal purchases. So 200 points in PV and you sponsor two new personal associates. Now, here's how the Builder Bonus Program is going to work if you open it up and qualify for it. The bonus amounts of the six, you know, having the 6,000 in cumulative volume, 18,000 in cumulative volume, the bonus amounts, you have to actually hit all of this total volume by the end of this year. So instead of having a full 270 days, which is what's going to be in the comp plan effective November 1 for new associates, you have until the end of this year to do it. Okay. And the second big thing that you need to understand about this builder bonus program for the Q4 bonus blitz is that the volume, the 6,000, 18,000 cumulative volume is only volume that can come from those two new sponsored associates and the organization below that. Okay. The only way that Trenant can track this for a Q4 blitz is that it's that's why you have to sponsor those two associates because it's all the cumulative volume that's going to run through those two lines of business uh, in order for you to qualify in Q4. Pretty simple to understand, but are there any questions on that? Yes. Your two new associates that you sponsor, are they required to have a certain amount of volume as well? Okay. How did I know you were going to ask that, Trent? Because <laughs> I ask all the little details. It's great. I love it because your brain's like mine. Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, good. Any so other we, questions? We need to get two new people. Primarily, it'd be great to do it every month. I know you don't have to, right? Correct. You don't have to get two new people every month as a part of, but yes, it would be incentivizing for you because the more volume you're building it's cumulative so yes and you don't want to just rest hoping and wishing and praying that they get what you need brought in too because it comes from them as well you got it okay it's all that cumulative volume you got it You're so fine. if we only have where are we placing sorry mm -hmm. if you're getting to each month are they going across horizontally and then you're not placing them under each of the first two, right? Here's what I'll tell you, Lisa. Get your mm -hmm. first two associates and then we'll talk strategy on placement. Good. <laughs> How's that work? Yeah, that's all Keep I need. It simple. Yep. Keep it simple. So simple. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So here's what's available for new associates that start October 1 through October 31. And this is why I'm going crazy talking to people because the amount of money that's on the table for them is massive. So because we are in this interim time frame of like our old comp plan and our new comp plan, an associate who starts October 1 through October 31 has the ability that they can not only just go after the builder bonus program, and the only thing I need to correct on this slide is anybody who has a start date of October uh, 1 and October 31, their time frame is also by the end of the year to hit the builder bonuses. So I should have taken that time frame, but you get my point. They can still go after the builder bonuses. Now, also, because they're starting on our older comp plan, 
they have the ability to go after our rank retention bonuses, which are in our existing comp plan as well. And they have a total of up to eight months to go to Diamond in order to get all of these one-time ret rank retention bonuses if they so choose. So if you actually add all of this up for an individual who's starting October 1, if they go Diamond in those eight months, that's up to $59,000, 59400 to be exact, in bonus money that's on the table. Now take this one step further because the way my brain thought was, what if they have a spouse? If they do have a spouse and they choose to enroll that spouse, and now they hit diamond in both positions, it's up to 120000 Are you guys getting it? They can double dip. When I saw this, I almost fell out my chair. Actually, I think I kind of did. Because there has never been a time in Tronaut history where we've ever had this much money on the table. Never. Okay, we've had some sort of a builder bonus program before, but it was definitely not this much money. Okay? And so... My kind of ending conversation with you today is if you're sitting on the fence or if you're like, I don't know, I'm going to tell you right now confidently, get off the fence. Put your foot on the gas because what Trinant just did, I promise you, you're either going to take advantage of this or you're not. And if you're thinking the way I'm thinking, all I want you to focus on is who are, who are your two people? Who are your two people that you're going to go bless with the opportunity don't worry if you haven't figured it all out. That's what you've got our incredible leaders for. You can lean on Benny. You can lean on Mrs. Lori Allen. You can lean on Trent. And even if maybe Benny's still learning the comp plan, you can lean on us, right? Mrs. Lori Allen's got this embedded in her brain. I've got it embedded in my brain. We're here to help you grow. All I want you to focus on is who's your two. Who's your two? And if you go take massive action this month, the next a uh, few months to end the quarter as we get into, right, what's coming up in November. Do you guys know what's coming up in November? The biggest time in Tronant's history happens in November. Anybody want to take a guess what it is? Black Friday. Black Friday. It's our biggest sales event of Tronant, always. It always is. So this is why I say, don't take your foot off the gas now. Put it on the gas and start thinking about who's your two. That's it. Who's your two? Once you get past those two, then Lisa will have the additional conversation. What about the next two? <laughs> so with that, I hope you guys really understand the comp plan. Benny, is there anything else you would like me to share? Any other questions you'd like me to tackle? No questions, but thank you. And I just want everybody to throw in the comments or quickly come off mute and share what you're most excited about. And I'm going to just tell you that my favorite part is what you just said, because I'm so simple brained. Like, I don't think about all the, like, I'm just focusing on the two, focus on the two, focus on the two. Like I, I can do that. Yep. Yeah. Anybody okay. Can do that. Everybody can do that. Yeah. okay. I want to hear from Michelle, Michelle, which part of this new comp plan are you most excited about? The builder bonus program <laughs> for sure. She was messaging me, Veronica, and said, I wish we could, I wish, wish we could do the builder bonuses. I'm like, just wait for it. Yeah. Hey, Trent, what are you most excited about? Um, I'm excited about Jade being only needing two lines and that the customer volume is now counting towards your, your group volume, which That's is fantastic. One. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. I'm going to ask Lisa because you're also, by the way, you have a fan going or something. You're like Beyonce over there. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm excited about it all because I am in a whole life changing space. And I talked to Mr. John Singh on one of his calls and he coached me and humbled me. And yeah, I've got a lot of work to do, but, um, you know, I don't usually say this openly, but I'm on disability and going through a lot of surgeries and stuff. And I need a jump start like this. I need a way to make some real money because if I start making money, they're going to pull the disability away. I need to make money, you know, where I'm not in harm's way of being homeless. <laughs> so homeless in Hawaii, you know, I don't want to write a book about that. <laughs> no way. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Veronica, for jumping on. Thank you. I need to soak it in more than once. So this was 
really helpful that we could like stop and ask questions. Um, especially most of us here, um, are not too hot. We're actually cold cause we're in Canada. Um, so sometimes there's a few different, um, things. So I do have a list of some questions that we were just going to follow up with Noel. Um, but thank you so much. And, uh, I am taking note of who's on here. I have a recording. I will share it. And if you want to take advantage of these builder bonuses, um, look who's on the screen, reach out, partner up because that's always the best way. Um, oh, last question, um, for joining Trent, do you want to ask this question? Can they still like, could somebody potentially just join on an enrich? You just wouldn't get a builder bonus. If they join on enrich, you mean as an associate? Yeah. Say somebody is like, all I can afford right now is, is joining on an enrich. Could they still become an associate or does it have to be a hundred PVA? Well, they just need to have 200 PV, but they don't have to order it all. They can go get customers to get their 200 PV to qualify for the builder bonus program. Qualify, but in terms of locking in a spot or just becoming an associate. Correct. They yeah. can become an associate. Don't earn off of them unless it's a hundred or more. Is that correct? You got it. You got it. For the, for the bonus well. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah. they can join though. You just wouldn't be counting for the builder bonus. Yeah, if they join as an associate and let's say they didn't even buy a product and they just paid an associate fee. I know in Canada, it's a little bit different because whatnot, but no they just don't qualify for the builder bonus program. They can still lock in a spot if they want. But they count as one of your two associates if you sign up to associates. I think maybe the Correct. root of the question. Correct. There's no, there's no PV requirement for them to enroll for you to have your two associates. Yeah, y'all yeah, are getting it. It's like, I could see all of your brains like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's what my brain did too. <laughs> I have a quick question. Um, ahead, can a current customer sign up as an associate and have a count towards your associates? Can they? Well, yeah, because they're only a customer. So if they're upgrading to an associate, that's a new associate. Okay. Michelle, Perfect. go get it, girl. <laughs> I go would get it. assert that is where you would start. That would I, love be I call a green apple or a warm lead is people already using our products. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you all one huge big favor. When you get your first associate, if you've got a group chat or people where you're working together, post it, let everybody cheer you on. Okay. So stay in connection with one another and let's cheer each other on. I love it. And um, I was testing out that remember the formula we were testing out in the spring so it's time to bring that back because that worked really well for me awesome okay awesome thank you b thank you everybody. thank you on and i will send out the recording thank bye. you amazing bye guys bye bye thank you <laughs>